Hi, my name is Brittany and I enjoy my heritage. My heritage journey starts mostly how a lot of black holes, households start with um, us getting perms or relaxers just because our textured hair was easier manageable at the time when it was straightened. So that involved going to the hair salon at six in the morning sometimes and staying there for hours and hours and hours. Of course, during that time, a lot of easier styles at that time were protective styles. So getting our hair braided, um, whether they be with a twist or cornrows, anything like that. So at the time growing up, it was what was the easiest to manage the hair. Um, and of course, perms, they burn your scalp. A lot of times you don't really have a say in what you can do with your hair growing up. You can, you know, say, hey, mom, I want my hair to be like this. Even though we were getting perms, we couldn't have completely straight hair. We had to be a certain age to do that. I had my first extensions in my hair is for my 11th grade prom. And I just was like, I was an adult at that point in time. You could not tell me differently. I flunked out of college, um, was pregnant, became pregnant while I was in college. So a lot of that anxiety and sense of failure and, you know, depression kind of played a part into it. And I created this bad habit of picking in my hair. And I would just sit and I would be watching TV and would just pick and pick and pick at my hair. And then I would be done and I would just have like an arm rest full of like my coils. And that's kind of how my lock journey started in 2014. At the time I was thinking, how can I help with my anxiety a little bit by having a certain hairstyle? But then come to find out having locks, it was still a journey. It was still something that wasn't easy. You still have to maintain it. So it's, you know, it really taught me about not only to take care of my hair and make sure that it stays healthy, but also mental health in general and not just how it affects your body, but it does affect your hair. If my hair is looking good, then I feel good. But if my hair is, you know, falling out all over the place, then I'm not feeling so good. How I feel embracing my natural, I feel like I have ownership of it. If it's mine, it's my decision. It's something that I personally have to take care of. There is no ideal beauty regime anymore. It's like everyone, as long as you're loving yourself, that is what beauty is.